Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Omsinati. And firstly, I need to thank you for each and everyone who has given good response for the previous video and uploaded the data analysis project. So, completely Swiggy and data analysis. So, if you want this video, please uh, go through my channel and I will give the description and the link also. And uh, so, today we are going to discuss one more project that is a uh, cost of living in the world world uh, regarding to the different different types of uh, countries so let me show you regarding the, the data what we have so these are the data like uh, this is the uh, countries names of the countries and this is the cost of living index how much of uh, cost do they have rent so, and the living plus the rent how much they have and the groceries what how much the need to present the groceries and the restaurants prices uh, present in that uh, countries and the local purchasing power this so these are the different types of uh, based on the in, like uh, scenarios like uh, based on the some of the situations where the cost of living is working so we consider this is a uh, like a dependent column completely depend upon the like uh, rent and the living of less rent or there is a, some of the groceries everything it is completely depend so uh, i take it as a like a uh, independent column remaining or the independent column so let me move for the project let me take so before going to a uh, project we need to install the libraries right like numpy import numpy as np and uh, import uh, pandas as pd next uh, import matplot lib dot by plot as plt next i am going to import cborn as uh, sns so these are the four required main required packages let me zoom it around it clearly visible so i need to load the data data equals to pd dot so let me check whether the data is fixed in the format let me open my file uh, where exactly the data is so this is the link of a data set okay let me open the link so Mm, yeah, this is a data set. So let me open the properties of the data set. It is contain. Let me. Properties. Yeah, it's a CSV file. So for that, uh, I need to load pd dot read underscore csv. pd dot read underscore csv. I need to read the data set. Let me provide this entire data. Let me close. What is the file name? Cost of cost under code of under code living dot csv. Let me run. Yeah, data is loaded. Done. Let me show the uh, top five rows in the data. Uh, I use this uh, top five rows. Yeah, this is the top five rows present in the data. Like that, I need to see uh, bottom five rows of a data. So this is the bottom five rows. Click now. We have the uh, let me test the shape of a data. What is it like? Shape. So it has 121 rows and seven columns. We have 121 rows and seven columns. Like right? around 121 countries we have in this data set. Right? 121 countries we have in the data set. So let me find the more information about this data. So uh, we have a, there is no null values present in each and every data. So there is we have a floating values remaining are the floating values only the country is an object. So let me check uh, whether there is a null values in detail. Uh, find the null values, right? I need to check the null values. Okay, uh, for the null values data dot is nan data dot is nan dot sum it means provide the count of null values so we didn't find any null values so that means we don't have any null values present in the data set so we already know there is a one more way also is there to find the null values right is null dot and let me show the any if you it shows the false that means there is no null values present in the data there is no null values present in the data so let me uh, analyze uh, like uh, anal like stats analysis Statistical, statistical analysis, uh, analysis about uh, data. So for the data dot describe, data dot describe. If you show the 
statistical analysis of a data. So this is a statistical analysis of a data. So total count we have 121 and the mean of this uh, cost of living things is a 43. Standard deviation is a 16. Minimum value is a 18. That 25 percentile, 50 percentile, 75 percentile. Maximum value is not present in the each and every. Let me transpose this data as a describe. Let let interchange the rows dot t transpose the data so we simply rows into the columns into the rows into the columns like that i have done uh, so these things are presented so after that uh, we will go some other things like uh, uh, we need to find uh, what are the columns present in the data okay. let me uh, find the columns so i got an error uh, so now i have the width of columns so that's a spelling mistake let me see so these are the columns present in your data. Okay, I need to find the in the, uh, like rows of index of rows, like the uh, list. Actually, I show you the same thing. If you want to convert the data into the like, uh, you need to provide the indexes in a list as format. So need to dot index. So these are the uh, indexes present in our data, like around 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like that. And I need to count values like uh, count the values count the values of a country okay for the data where my data country is uh, presented presented uh, is a function uh, dot uh, function value underscore counts it's a function we can find it there is only single 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 function is presented right only single single function is presented so uh, let me try it with a different i need it's a condition so requirement as a client requirement he need uh, he need he need um, uh, he need countries he need the countries based on cost of living more than 50 Okay, more than fifty dollars. We can simply say make more than fifty dollars. So let us consider who is the data is completely on the dollars. Okay. Uh, for that, uh, let me create a one variable h equals to like a small like uh, more more equals to is a small more equals to. So data more equals to. I need to get a data from data data from data. I need to provide the cost of living. Cost of living in text. This is a column name, right? This is a column name which is greater than 50, right? This is a which is uh, which is greater than 50. This is the requirement of a client. Let me zoom. I didn't get any errors. Let me print like more. So these are the countries we have greater than 50 cost of living. So I don't add. Let me find the length of a. Uh, let me find print. Length, like to, I need a total number of like length. So there is a totally 37 columns is present, like 37 countries. Totally 37 countries. Total countries uh, cost of living is more than $50. There is nearly 37 countries is presented more than 50 37 countries is present more than 50,000 uh, 50, of cost of living same like that uh, my one more requirement uh, so i need to uh, get a mm -hmm. i need to get a like client requirement uh, he want he want so he want he want cost of living we want cost of living in India. Let me try this. We want uh, cost of living in India. Just we want the things. So for that, let me take a uh, India. India. So let me take India is a table uh, like a variable. India. Mm, India. So I need to uh, write a code like uh, data from data dot where uh, countries. Uh, so why in the other countries? Uh, which is equals to India, which is equals to India. So that's it, like which is equals to India. Which is 
equals to in here, right? Let run. I want some syntax error. So zero to be into mention. Yeah. So sorry, I have to mention the two things. Yeah. Now it's fine. So let I need to print the India. So this is the first of this thing. So better but even other than the India, like the simple thing. If you want to more things like you need to simply pass up the uh countries names also. Let me pass the Greek, uh, Greece. If you are the Greece, let me copy this and paste over this. So this is a Greece. So for that case, we will be CD India, right? We only see the India. So fine. So now, now as a client requirement, we want top five and bottom bottom five countries countries based on cost of living okay based on cost of living so for that case i need to sort the data sort equals to sort equals to data dot sort the values so panda is available sort the values data dot sort the values i need to sort by the using of by the using of cost of living let me copy this cost of living index is a program name i need to copy this cost of living where uh, ascending where ascending equals to false where ascending equals to false let me come yeah i don't need any errors let me uh, bring this short uh, so this is our data based on the ascending so let me dot like uh, i need to know top five right uh, sort dot head it will shows the top five columns of a data like that only i need to show or uh, top uh, tail method so these are the five countries which have a living cost is too low it's a bottom of the cost like the, if you want to stay in these countries definitely uh, we will the cost of living will will definitely be uh, very low so the cost of living is the switzerland is high burma is high iceland is high singapore is high. so like that the cost of living uh, very low at bangladesh india egypt malaysia and pakistan these are the like least amount of data like least cost of living countries so so these are the some basic analysis we have done so let me move for the some of the uh, model building purpose so if you want to build the model data dot head let me show the data dot right so here we have a, some of the data which is in the countries is a labels so i need to convert that first i need to convert the data into uh, Encode like a one or encoding or label encoding from from SQLM from SQLM dot v processing import uh, label encoder right let me run this yeah that's fine fine let me lab equals to lab lab equals to label um, label encoder label encoder as i created a function i created a function data which are the things present in it like i created a new value country underscore value this is a new variable i need to create like def label dot fit i need to fit like a fit transform fit transform i need to transform the data got exactly that country right Let me so here I got an error where you I forgot this data analysis. Let now that data is clear. So let me uh, so let me view the data. Data so we we have find the country value also right here we have find the country value. Now I need to drop this country. I need to I need to drop this country for the dropping of country. So data dot data dot draw where draw where columns equals to columns equals to um, country where draw columns equals to country country axis equals to one and in place 
equals to true right let me run yeah data is dropped let me check the data so we drop the country right we drop the country now i am taking uh, independent 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 and dependent value like their variables the columns we can say by the columns so where x equals to x equals to data dot drop data dot drop i am dropping i am dropping uh, so column columns equals to data dot columns equals to cost of n as it is a uh, dependent value we consider as a dependent value right we consider as a dependent value cost of living index right next on um, y axis i am taking on y axis i am taking y axis i am taking data dot the cost of living we need to take because it is a dependent variable i am mentioning like so. so let me x dot head here we can't find any so x is not fine let's it's a calculator now this is we don't find any cost of living here next to y dot head we will find the this is a head of the like value so this is the cost of living so i am so as we discussed we are building a model on linear regression like uh, model building model building so from uh, sk run dot linear underscore model import underscore model import linear regression right like that only from sklm we need to import model dot model dot selection trying to split selection import Trying underscore test underscore SP like SP from SK learn dot matrix 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 import I need to get like mean square like mean square S Q U E R D square other R two square R two score, right? Let me run this code. Yeah, I'm getting kind of any errors like the model importing. Let me write a function, right? Like I need to x train comma x test comma y train comma y test equals to train underscore test underscore split test still like this. So we need to pass the x. As a independent variables and y, I need to pass the test underscore size equals to zero point three and taking zero point two and zero point three is fine. Like uh, I'm dividing the data into thirty percent, like say twenty percent doing the test size and remaining eighty percent to the uh, training side and let's like a uh, random random state equals to zero. Let me mention. Let them. I didn't get any error. So I now building a model. Now creating create a model here. So create a model. So model equals to linear regression. Model equals to linear regression. Model dot fit x underscore try y underscore try. I am going to with the x and try. Let me. Yeah, model has done. Now y prediction. Let me try to predict the things uh, like y prediction. Model dot predict. Model dot predict x test. Model dot predict x test. So let me analyze the predictions of the model. So these are the predictions done by the model. Like uh, these are the predictions done by the model. Now I need to evaluate. EBA. I need to evaluate the model. Evaluate the model. So for the evaluating purpose, uh, mean square error is equals to mean underscore square sq yeah, square underscore 
error equals to I need to pass the y underscore test comma y underscore prediction. We need to pass the predictions on the y test, right? Same like that. Uh, I am typing the RNS root mean square. Root mean square simply I am encoding for numpy dot square root like a square root like it's represented as a square root. So square root is represented like a square root of uh, ms or msc. Sorry, it's like the or and I need to pass an ms. So done. Yeah. So finally r2 uh, r2 square equals to r2 underscore square I need to pass y underscore test comma y underscore prediction right this error now let me run I didn't get an error yeah I got an error so here the r2 or not even r2 now it's done now print msc same like that print so let me write it briefly msc this is a score of msc or r msc simply we can understand for the r msc or msc and finally print r2 underscore score let r2 now let me run this code yeah, we find this sum of the um, like uh, um, mean square data like 0 0.0 something of the data or r root square meter something of the data and r2 mm -hmm. is around 0.9 percent 90 percent we have got an r2 square error. So this is the entire model using to build in the linear regression, right? So this is the cost of building up a project. So the project is super. So I used to take from this project completely from the Google site say Kaggle. So you can also execute this project in a Google Colab or in a Kaggle lab. So we have in Kaggle some of the notebooks. So try yourself and uh, please make a comment about if you have facing any doubts. I will try to answer the things. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Bye bye.